I'm Shruti and I'm from Singapore and today I'm going to take you all the way to France. In this lockdown, we can't travel anywhere. So let me take you there through a recipe of mine. Today I'm making a French dessert called Coach Pear in red wine sauce. Let's get cooking. Now let's get to preparing the pears for the poaching liquid. So what I'm going to do, I've taken big size four pears. You can take five medium sized pears. I'm just going to peel them whole. So I'm going to carefully cut them into halves, trying my best to keep the stem intact. So it's easier for me to core them. You can even uh, use the whole pear and core it from inside. But these are too big in size, so I'm going to cut them in half. So yeah, successfully done. I'm going to just core the pear with a melon baller. And I'm going to prepare all the other pears just like the way I did here. So now I have prepared the pears, I have poured them and I have added them to the bowl. Uh, I'm going to juice a whole orange and I'm going to remove the peels and add them uh, to the poaching liquid. So what I'll do is, let me uh, first add the wine. I'm going to add the whole bottle of red wine to this. And I want the pears to completely uh, drown into them. So make sure you settle them down so every pear is completely dipped inside the wine. Now, I'm just going to peel maybe two or three long rinds of orange. This adds a lot of flavor to the coaching liquid. And I'm going to juice the whole orange into the bowl. Just make sure you're keeping your hand to catch the seeds. To this I'm adding a stick of cinnamon, a cup of sugar, a few cloves of cardamom, and a few cloves. To this I'm also adding a little bit of vanilla essence, about a teaspoon. And now I'm just going to lightly turn to stir it while they're still uh, hard. So the sugar kind of mixes into the wine well. Do not boil this aggressively. Uh, I want to poach the pears in this liquid so the, the liquid has to be very very uh, slow boiling and slow cooking so that the pears don't completely uh, become a mush inside the bowl. We need soft pears. So once this whole thing warms up just reduce the flame and close the lid and let them cook for about 20 minutes. Now let's see it's been 10 minutes and uh, I'm just going to turn them around. It's smelling amazing. Now the reason for taking a pot like this is the fact that you need the pears to completely drown in them. If you take a flatter pan, it's not going to poach that well. So make sure your pan is a little deep. So this is 10 minutes in. I'm going to poach them for another maybe 10 to 15 minutes until they are soft. I'm just going to poke a knife and see. So now it's been about uh, 5 minutes since the last I checked because I left it to boil for about 10 minutes and what you have to do is you have to constantly keep checking this. So now my knife is easily going in and they have been poached beautifully. Now what happens with the pears is if they are the softer or the ripe variety, they'll cook a little faster. So keep a check as to how fast they're going to cook. So if they're really hard, they're going to take a longer time to cook. So these were quite soft and ripe. So it, it's taken really half the time of what I mentioned before. So I'm going to take them out. Uh, let me switch this off. And 
I'm going to slowly uh, tip them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain this liquid into a smaller saucepan. So these are the bits that we added to the wine. So now I'm going to reduce this syrup to one third and I'm going to constantly uh, keep a check on it. And I want this to turn into a syrup. There's sugar already added to this. Now it's been 20 minutes and it's come down to one third of the quantity. I'm going to switch off the flame. I'm going to show you that it's quite hot. So you need to wait for it to cool down and it's quite thick and uh, a little syrupy now. So now I have cooled down the pear and I have served it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. I'll show you how to plate this. Now the reduced wine sauce has become nice and syrupy. So now you can pour this over your bed and a little bit around it so that it creates a bed of syrup with the pear. And you can even drizzle a bit over the ice cream. I'm going to garnish this with a few pistachios just for some crunch. And that's how you get a super fancy restaurant style poached pears in red wine sauce. Have fun, enjoy this amazing and fancy dessert in the comforts of your home and keep watching my recipes. Thank you.